Hey everyone, welcome back to the restaurant show. And we've got pans sizzling here. We've got all these delicious ingredients, and we have Chef Joe, <laughs> one of my favorite Hello, people in the world. Um, so you actually you're bringing it all right here. You're gonna cook it here. I'm gonna do it all right. And for you're you. actually gonna do two at one time. I'm gonna try to do it in seven I minutes. It. I we'll love say. it. Seven minutes. We're gonna do it. <laughs> and no, so tell us, we are doing a um, penne nona. Penne did I nona. say that right? Yes, you did. Which means nona means. Grandmother. Grandma. Okay, great. Fantastic. Oh, you hear that sizzle? That's the right way to do a pan, right? Yep. You want it sizzling. You want it sizzling. If you don't hear that, then you're not. your pan isn't ready. Now with the Nona, what we're going to do is we're going to put some caramelized onions, a little bit of roasted peppers. Perfect. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. This is what it smells like in your restaurant, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Actually, I smell like this. I love it. And so um, the second dish is the... Gnocchi, or as my husband likes to say, ganoche. Ganoche. <laughs> ganoche is in, ganoche is out. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so tell us about the different ones. That uh, well, what we're going to do is make a vodka sauce for the gnocchi. Oh, it's got the prosciutto, it. fresh basil, uh, some of our homemade marinara sauce from the love restaurant. It. Love it. A little bit of cream, and then we have these beautiful gnocchi that we made, which is a potato pasta. A potato it has pasta. potato and flour. Can you buy just the gnocchi at, 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 the restaurant? at the market, sure. right? Okay, perfect. We have it dried and fresh. Love and then we have some beautiful sausage that mm. uh, we made yesterday. Yeah, I know you guys make the sausage fresh. And now that is going in which? This is going in the Nona. The Nona. So the Nona has a um, has sausage in it. It has the peppers and the onions. Caramelized onions, and roasted peppers. Love it. Oh, my. If you guys could smell this, it is so good. And we're also going to put a little bit of marinara in there. And a little one. bit of your homemade marinara in there. And, now, and then the gnocchi is going to have a vodka sauce. Correct. Love it. We're going to light this thing up here now. All right. Love it. Woo! There we go. Set off the alarm in here. Yeah. I love that part. It makes me nervous, but I love it. Yeah. Well, you know, you got to be nervous. I've seen people put linens on fire and everything else. The sausage, as you can see, though, how white it is. It's oh, made with I all pork. The crack in the, I just in the that skin. Snap. Yeah. And it's all pork. You know, uh, you don't have to worry about tails and snoots and things like that. I don't anyway. <laughs> well, in your business, He's tails and snoots right, are good, right? right? Oh, uh, gnocchi, a little cannellini beans. Cannellini beans, mm hmm White kidney beans for the market. How nice and hearty that dish is. It is. And it's like, it's supposed to bring back memories. You know, the comfort food is is really something that, you know, that's why it's named after grandma. Exactly. Put a little pre-cooked penne in there. I love it. And that really is, and this is a, is this just a staple it at is. your this restaurant? This has been on the menu since we opened, actually. Ah, so it hasn't changed. It, it has not changed. It it's I been there it. for nine years. I love it. My, my, my grandmother used to make this, actually. Oh, that is great. So this is like, that to you is this just is, like macaroni and cheese in the South, right? right? Like right. like in that sense, like it is just the a good... The kids these days like chicken nuggets. Yeah, exa yeah exactly. <laughs> this is what this is what he grew up on. Are you yeah. kidding me? <laughs> so we'll put that in there. Oh my, are you kidding me? That's what you grew That was like a normal meal. At it was. House. Oh my gosh. And actually, when I was a child, my parents had a, a sausage and pepper stand on Mulberry Street. Oh, really? For the feast. And really? I was about eight years old. And I used to work with my, my dad making the sausage. And the funny thing is now at the Italian American Heritage Yeah, Festival. that's coming up, right? That's coming up. In, um, now my son yep. Kyle's been doing it for two years since he was eight. And I love Kyle. He's so, so we awesome. went, we went full circle, I guess you could say. Yes, and I still get this. To me, that is like truly a dining out experience. And oh, but to you guys, and it's comfort food. Comfort food. I love it. And there's nothing wrong with the spaghetti and meatballs or lasagna, you know, right. things like that. We keep that on the menu also because not everybody wants a piece of halibut. Absolutely. Well, and also, <coughs> not everyone can cook that at home. Right. I mean, the, the true way to do it. And okay, something this... like chicken parmesan or eggplant parmesan, you know, you got to bread it, fry it. It's a mess. And clean up. You know, to a be lot honest. People don't with have you. that time either. That vodka sauce, we got the prosciutto, oh, basil. So a little bit of cream. We'll put the gnocchi right in there. Right, right. And that is a potato it's a pasta. It's a potato pasta. Potato-based pasta. Love it. Yeah, just like a couple flips there. Now, I like, though, that, um, now, again, at the market, now, if you aren't coming to the restaurant or if you're entertaining at home or, or you are adventurous, Well, you, you have like two options, cook. actually. We, we sell the sauce already made. Oh, you can buy the gnocchi and the sauce and then just done. be done with it. That is good. And you're going to get to eat these for me. I know. <laughs> I'm about to dip in right now. <laughs> now, now... With the fall coming up, obviously your menu starts to change a little bit. Locals start coming back. Mm -hmm. um, 
what do you have going on at the restaurant? Uh, well, I know start, you guys are really local driven. We People are, love you and you've been are. around forever. Our season usually starts at Labor Day and runs till Memorial Day, and then we yeah. get a little quieter for the summer. Exactly, exactly. Because people are coming back. So, but, so you... we do our wine tasting start up again in September. Oh, okay. So wine, like a wine dinner and wine, wine dinners, tastings? Wine dinners, wine tastings. Love it. Um, we have the live, uh, live music in the back starting up again. Oh, so you have entertainment too. Yeah. I did not know that. It's fantastic. Oh, a little bit so of good. fresh basil. Um, and then what about, now I know we just talked a little bit about the heritage, but um, what do you have coming off property also that you'll be at? Um, Cooks with Books. Uh, we do the soup challenge. Yeah, lots of great products. Which we won last year, by the way. <laughs> yes. And, what uh, was your soup washer? We did the uh, pesto grilled chicken with pesto oh, cream. Sounds delicious. Delicious. It has a little baby Dittolini in it, which my son loves. <laughs> I love it. Well, you have three sons. Right, so. right. Well, my son Kyle likes it. <laughs> All you know, of them. They look like little, he calls them little tubes. Oh, yes. They're the little ones. Yeah. And that was the soup. Okay. So so you have um, you have the Italian festival coming up. Yeah. You have cooks with books. Yeah. And then you also have the soup challenge. And, and besides the, uh, all the private parties and... And, and you can book for private parties. We can. We're already booking Christmas parties, Oh, my it or not. gosh. And you can do that at the restaurant because I know you have your private rooms. We do. We have a uh, bunch of different sections in the back. We could section it off any way we want. Perfect. So it's, uh, it gives us a lot more options. And you can have Chef actually do a little bit of a cooking demo if that's the kind of we thing. We do have Just kind of like this, right? Sure. Yeah, we that's bring the burners out. We can show you how to make fresh cheese or sausage. I love it. So start, you know, when you're thinking about your plans, I mean, you have to start thinking about them now. Keep them in mind and keep in mind the market also, mm -hmm. or just coming in and getting these beautiful comfort dishes that right. to you is noble, but to me, this is like a <laughs> feast and a half. So it's thank great. You. <laughs> it's great. It's great food. It's always a pleasure. We love it. Thank you so much, thank Chef. Thank you, Orca. And um, please come visit them out in Bluffton. See you at Mulberry Street. Thanks, you guys, so much for joining me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And, you know, One Hot Mama's Plums, Mulberry Street Tutoria, fantastic restaurants. And just remember, always have fun eating your way through the low country.